Welcome to part two on our series on electrical overstress. Now that we have established a basic background on EOS in part one, we will demonstrate the capturing of an actual EOS event and recommendations on methods of prevention. In this video, we will be utilizing Cree LED products, solder attached to a standard metal core PCB. We will be using an oscilloscope and a current probe to acquire the electrical waveform and resulting EOS events. The following illustration is of an EOS event originating from an electrical transient on the input supply. This type of event is similar to that commonly occurring during a lightning strike or power surge. Electrical overstress damage can occur if these types of events are not properly filtered by circuitry upstream of the LEDs. Next we will demonstrate an EOS event that can occur during the turn on or hot plugging of LEDs to an energized supply. First, we will insert our current probe between the driver output and the LEDs. We will plug in the driver and monitor the power supply output using an oscilloscope. As indicated in part one of this series, the maximum current should not exceed the manufacturer's maximum ratings. Next, we will demonstrate hot plugging. This will consist of connecting the LEDs to the energized power supply. Here is an example of the type of waveform occurring during a hot plugging event. Typically, and as we just observed, an LED exposed to an EOS or hot plugging event may appear very bright and degrade rapidly. This type of behavior may indicate that the LEDs were damaged during the event and at which point a quick inspection and electrical test is suggested as illustrated in part one of this series. As we have just demonstrated, LEDs can be damaged by electrical overstress if not properly protected. Because of the unpredictability of EOS events, we recommend that a protective device be integrated into most LED circuits. Protective devices can either be a voltage or current limiting and as simple as an inline fuse. While there are many types of devices available, selection requires careful consideration. Cree understands that there are many choices available to achieve proper EOS protection for luminaires. And in the following slides, we'll provide additional information on EOS protection provided by a number of solution providers Cree has partnered with. Should you have any questions regarding these solutions providers, please contact your local Cree engineering representative or visit Cree.com and search Solutions Providers. This concludes part two of our electrical overstress application note. For additional information on EOS, please refer to the pulsed overcurrent driving of X-Lamp LEDs application note and the previously mentioned electrical overstress application note. These application notes are available for immediate download from Cree's comprehensive document library at Cree.com. Cree now offers tempo testing to aid customers in design, verification, and testing of applications using LED technology. A portion of this testing focuses on the LED power source and its effectiveness in filtering electrical transients, commonly associated with EOS. Please refer to Cree.com and search Tempo for additional details on this program. Thank you.